You might be asked to figure out whether an equation like this, CH4 plus O2 plus CO2, which yields H2O, is this an oxidation reduction reaction, a redox reaction? So I'm going to show you how to do that. The way to figure this out is to look at the oxidation states for each element, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, on both sides of the equation. We can ignore the states here, don't need to worry about those. This is balanced, but we don't even need to worry about the coefficients or the heat here to figure out whether we have a redox reaction. So let's start with the carbon and the hydrogen here, this methane. So hydrogen, hydrogen is always going to be plus one when it's with a non-metal, like carbon. So each hydrogen is plus one. And what that means is since this all has to add up to zero, since it's a neutral compound, we're going to have to have a negative four here. Negative four plus four, that gives us zero, it's neutral. So those are the oxidation states for the carbon and the hydrogen. Oxygen, you might think that oxygen is going to be negative two, but here it's just O2 by itself. That's what we call a free element. And free elements like O2 or H2 or sodium here, Na, they're always going to be zero. That's their oxidation state. When we go to the product side, the oxygen that's bonded to the carbon. So in this case, it is negative two, and we have two of those. So two times negative two, that's negative four. Carbon has to be a positive four. And then for water, oxygen is negative two. Each hydrogen is plus one. So that works out to be zero there. So now we can see if we have an oxidation reduction reaction for CH4 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Do any of the elements change the value for their oxidation state? And you can see carbon, that goes from a negative four to a plus four, pretty big change. Oxygen, that goes from zero to negative two. It does it here and over here. So the oxygen, that changes its oxidation state. And that means that this equation here, methane plus oxygen, giving us carbon dioxide and water, this is a redox reaction. Because the carbon, that goes from a negative to a positive, it lost electrons. So the carbon here, this is oxidized. The oxygen went from a zero to a negative, so it gained those negative electrons. That's going to be reduced. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.